Right now, the superstorm uh, Sandy has lightened up a bit here on us. Northeast Ohio, we're left to pick up the pieces. The hours of near hurricane force wind gusts toppled trees and power lines all across our region. News Channel 5's Paul Kiska has been out surveying the damage west and continues our live team coverage tonight. Paul. Well, Chris, uh, just as you throw to me here, the wind's picking up and so is the rain as we're getting more gusts coming off of Lake Erie. You're only about a mile away from it here. That was part of the problem along the lakeshore communities last night. 70 mile an hour winds just driving across that open water. You can drive up and down uh, any street pretty much on the northern end of Rocky River, uh, Bay Village, Westlake, Lakewood, and see scenes like this. Trees toppled, trees on top of houses, trees blocking intersections, and many of these trees brought down power lines. Now, a lot of these trees that fell came down last night, and they came down overnight, but here's some videos Video that really points out how you cannot let your guard down, even though the highest winds have died down. This was just before noon today. This is a huge tree. It came crashing down in this family's garage in Rocky River on Elmwood. The ground is soaked, and all the winds aren't as high. Some strong gusts were still toppling trees like this one around lunchtime and into early afternoon. And throughout the day, we saw trees on homes and a lot of power lines still blocking uh, intersections. And a wrap up here from Rocky River, the power company saying that's going to be their big priority as you look at that video. All those power lines on the ground, they want to get those pulled up first, then they'll start re restoring power to the uh, transformers and things like that. Live in Rocky River tonight, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5. Okay, Paul, thanks for that live report tonight. Well, Sandy didn't let up on the east side of Cleveland either, turning parts of Lake County into a scrapyard for storm debris. Folks in Willoughby say the winds were so strong there, they're strong enough to topple even full grown trees. Check them out here, lifting them right from their roots, dropping some of them onto homes. The winds even tore the roof off of a steel factory there. The swollen Chagrin River has also flooded some streets there tonight. Lee. Well, this storm at one point left more than 8 million people across Northeast in the dark. Here are the latest power outage numbers from First Energy. More than 217,000 customers in northern Ohio are without power tonight. Cuyahoga County is still the worst, with nearly 165,000 people still in the dark. Hundreds of crews are working to restore power in Northeast Ohio, in addition to the hundreds of other crews helping out in the east. First Energy says it could be days until some people see their power turned back on.